Like that's so easy to build your credit, but it's not no tricky part to it, bro. Like, but it's how you can use your cash. So if you got your cash and you're using your credit, boom, as soon as you go use your credit card, boom, take your cash, go on the federal or your bank, pay it right back. Pay Today, I'm gonna be telling you how to use your cash and turn it and how to make your credit good while using cash. So if you saved your cash up, that I told you to save, man. Remember I told you to save your little 10K, man. Save you, save you some 10 to 20K. But I told you how to save it as a teen or 18 to 20. Now I'm telling you how you can use that and get good credit with it. You understand what I'm saying? I hope you understand what I'm saying right now. So, if everybody know, man, some people say credit is better than paper money. Some people believe it's not. Some people think otherwise. I believe they both good, man. Like, I just, just had both of them, bro. Like, it's always a debate. Why not just have both on the safe side? Have your cash, have your credit, have your cryptocurrency, have your, all that, man. Have all that stuff, bro. Just to be on the safe side. But anyways, I'm about to get right into telling y'all because on Instagram, I posted my credit score. My credit score was like an 813 when I posted it. And everybody, I made like a poll. Do y'all want to see how I got my credit like this? And everybody voted yes. So I'm making this YouTube video for my Instagram followers, for my YouTube subscribers, financially educate y'all on how to get your credit up as a young person, well, I believe so. So, I believe to get your credit up, man, if you with a bank, like a lot of people, if you with Navy Federal, bro, getting that credit card, I did that as a young, I did that young. Like, as soon as I turned 18, I got a credit card, but the first thing I did, being materialistic, I bought a bait jacket. Bought a bait jacket was dead broke, y'all. I'm telling you, I could not, like, and then my bill my was like $40 a month paying it back. I really couldn't even like afford that for real, for real. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I was dead broke. I couldn't afford it, but I was just being pressed one of the bait jacket. I think I was 17 or 18 when I got that jacket, bro. I was, yeah, I was 17 or 18. It was my senior year of high school, bro. So, yeah, man, I did that, and you know, monthly, they get your monthly bill when you get a credit card. This is how credit work, y'all. If you don't know how credit work, credit, they get your credit card, it got credit on it. You can swipe it, like, swipe it for gas, anything, but you gotta pay it back in a certain amount of time. So, say I had a $500 credit card, like I said, my monthly bill was like $40, $50 a month. So, if your monthly bill is $40, $50 a month, you wanna pay, like, $100 a month. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's how I believe to build your credit fast. Like, say if it's, okay, it's $50, 50 a month, okay, you wanna pay $100, I mean, you're paying over, you're paying double the amount. So they know, like, oh, this, your bank know, they report it to your credit bureau, and like, yeah, oh, he serious, da da da, you go check your stuff on Credit Karma, that stuff shoots your stuff up by points, bro, a lot. Like, a lot of stuff deals with credit. You got a car note, and you'll think 400 a month, or 300 a month, your car note 300 a month. You want to pay it early ahead, stuff like that. Like, I know, I don't do this, but somebody told me this. One of my friends' moms told me if I pay it, if, say if my car note was 300 a month, if I pay 150 in the middle of the month, then 150 at the end, it's like, it's taking the interest off or whatever. So it's bringing down your interest rate or whatever while you paying your car note. So it won't take as long to pay off your car, because paying off a car will take about four years or something like that. See, with me and my car note, this is what I did. My car was probably about $13,000, $14,000 at a Honda Accord, like a newer Honda Accord, so it cost about thirteen. I got, I financed it or whatever. So, for me financing it, it cost about thirteen. dollars my car note was about $400 a month. Oh, that train coming out here. But look, man, yeah, the train was going by, but like I was saying, bro, like, I got a car note or whatever, da -da -da. My stuff was about 400 a month. It was my first time financing a car. I didn't really have no credit and stuff. My credit score shot up so well because paying ahead, bro, just paying a lot, like, all, like, 
Say I told you I owe thirteen thousand. Like it'd be one. Where that train, bro. It'd be one point in time, bro. I put down five thousand on my car. Boom. Like to my car though. Like if I got a good lump sum of money, I put down five thousand. Boom. Or I put down a thousand. Boom. Two thousand. Do it. Do it. Paid off my car. My car was a four-year car. I only had it for a year. I paid it off. So my credit score shot up so good. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, you paying ahead and showing them that you serious about your payments and that you can pay it for your stuff. Your credit is cool. It's gonna go like real good. But if you somebody who can't see, I, everybody's in my situation. So if you somebody who can't pay it off that fast. Da da da. Make sure you get something that you can make sure you can afford. Da da da. And yeah. Make sure, bro. Don't try to do something that's out of your lane, bro. That's one thing I want people not to do. I don't try to do something. If it ain't your speed, leave it alone, bro. Like, I got a Honda Accord in my nose that much, bro. Like, my credit wasn't that good. And I put down a nice little amount, too. Like, I was mad that my wasn't that much, that my um, note was that much. But anyways, yeah, that's another way to build your credit, bro. And the thing about credit, you need credit, bro. Like, say if it's a, a million dollar house, you can't just go there with a million dollars in cash, bro. Like, you wanna, see what I'm saying? You wanna finance it, boom, you could, you don't gotta put down that much. You can put down what? 100,000, 150, 200,000 on that million dollar house, and then you could be paying monthly and still stacking your money up and paying that bill, you see what I'm saying? Still building your credit while you paying that. You see what I'm saying? Like. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, but my most important thing, I think, to, cause I had a five thousand. After I got that Navy Federal um, credit card, I got a five thousand dollar credit card, y'all. A five thousand dollar one, bro. I did the same thing, bro. I spent that whole five thousand, bro. Spent it. Spent it. Careless, bro. Just careless. Like, I didn't seen a lot of money. I didn't wasted a lot of money. I didn't did that, y'all. I learned, I lived and I learned. Did that, cause I paid off my $500 one, then I upgraded to the $5,000 one. That's how they get you though. And then, but after that, I got that $5,000 one. Paid that back, but I was paying that one back. Thousand by thousand by thousand by thousand. Dude, I think when it got down to the last 2,000 to pay back, I just spent, just gave back the whole 2,000. I'm not, I'm not doing that again. But it shot my credit score all the way up, you see what I'm saying? Cause I paid it, so like, but it's how you can use your cash. So if you got your cash and you're using your credit, boom, as soon as you go use your credit card, boom, take your cash, go on any federal or your bank, pay it right back, pay it more. Like if you make a person that's making cash from your business or your, you see what I'm saying? Your job or whatever, go spend $20 on gas, go pay $50 back in cash. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, so easy to build your credit, but it's not no tricky part to it, bro. Like if you doing right, all you gotta do is be on time, be on point with your payments, bro, and be ahead of them. You be ahead of them people, bro. Don't have them people sending you emails and warnings, and you need to hurry make your payment. No, bro. You need to do it before they even tell you. Like that's how you gonna build your credit up. Just be on top of yourself. It ain't no excuse not to have good credit, bro. Credit is easy. Real easy. You use that credit up though. I'm gonna y'all warning. I'm giving y'all warning. If you use that credit up and you do not pay them people's back or them credit cards, I'm telling you to get a credit card, but if you don't make your payments back, you will not be happy with your credit score. Your credit score is gonna drop so bad, bro. Like, it's gonna drop so bad. You're gonna be disappointed in yourself. So don't get that credit card thinking it's free money and you can just spend it, nah. I did it and got myself out of the situation that I did it in. Like, I knew what I was doing type like, like, I knew I was going to have to pay it back. Easy. Like, it's real easy. Just got to hustle, bro. Like, hustle. And I learned my lessons and I yeah. So, that's my tips on giving y'all that's the tips I'm giving y'all on how to get your credit better, man. Get them credit cards. Go, go and spend a little money on them. Have a little fun. Buy your little sneakers. Make sure you can pay that back, though, on that monthly bill.
That's what I'm saying for young people. Like, I don't know another way for you to build your credit, bro. Just being young for real, for real. Like, I'm really sitting here trying to think. That little credit card, that's a good way to build it, bro, if you're around. Like, you just end up to get it, like, yeah. Getting that credit card. But you ain't getting no house and all that right now unless you doing it like that. I mean, hey. But you to get a house and stuff, you gotta have some type of credit, I think. I like, think you gotta have some type of credit to get a house. I don't know. But like, comment, subscribe, and this is how you use your cash, man. Use your cash to get some credit. Spend that cash on a little bit of credit, man. See ya, name brain.